Forget I'm even here. Forget about all this stuff. Just be yourself. The late Linda Lovelace, the world-famous porn star best known for the 1972 okay, film Deep Throat, um, is being portrayed on screen in a feature film, looking at her life and times. You know who there was up there. It's true enough, my little girl. I got a go, Daddy. The story told in this picture is not pretty. It's one of exploitation and violence. Lovelace, whose real name was Linda Borman, is portrayed by Amanda Seyfried, who points out that Lovelace was a very big phenomenon. She was like the poster poster girl for the sexual revolution. I mean, uh, I think even though she only spent 17 days in the porn industry, I think she was huge because Deep Throat was like a phenomenon. <laughs> and action. This film shows how the picture Deep Throat came about, what went on behind the scenes, how Lovelace was controlled by her husband and manager Chuck Trainor, played by Peter Sarsgaard. Deep Throat is one of the few porn films ever to have crossed over to a general audience. It was even reviewed by the New York Times. It, it wasn't just like a, a porn to get off on, you know. There was a lot of elements in it that were poking fun at, you know, the establishment and established views, you know. Um, just the irreverence of the thing itself was the event, not necessarily a way to get off. Gradually, the pedals start to open and... Amanda Seyfried conveys Lovelace's trials quite well. The actress had to do sex scenes, nothing too explicit, and she had to show a character who was violently abused. Playing the violent scenes was tough. I mean, I trusted my actors and uh, I trusted my directors and, and Peter, but it's still, it's still hard to, to stomach that she was actually going, you know, being, being beaten. I'd like to meet your folks. No, they don't think anybody. I think they dig me. Peter Sarsgaard makes Chuck Trainor menacing, a man who uses his charisma to lure Lovelace in and then moves to control and exploit her. A thoroughly nasty piece of work for Sarsgaard to play. You play a really repugnant character. Yeah. Did that present you with a very big challenge? Were you worried about that at all? There's a much greater responsibility and onus when you play a hero, you know, because we're saying this is what a hero should be. So I don't carry any sort of social responsibility when I go to play a quote-unquote villain. Um, I think my only responsibility is to try to do it honestly and truthfully and in a way with, that I have curiosity about the person instead of judgment. On the surface, I mean, this film is about a woman who became a huge porn star, mm -hmm. but it also seems to be about violence. Do you think there is a connection between pornography and violence? Sometimes, yeah, I do. Um, I think that a lot of times just the power dynamic of who's lying on the bed and who's holding the camera makes it that. This is going to follow you forever. You can come out of this a complete person again. The film shows Linda Lovelace did get away from the porn business. She remarried and had two children and became an anti-porn crusader. The film is the work of two directors who made their mark in documentaries. This is their second dramatic feature. It's hard to know what's fact and fiction, but it is clear that Lovelace's story was a difficult one to tell. Amanda Seyfried respects Lovelace. I do like her because she actually tried to figure out who she was and, and to try to fight, fight against um, pornography and, then, and domestic violence. And she brought, she brought, um, she was an important voice in bringing to light, uh, you know, the domestic violence issue in general. <laughs> It's hard to know what to take from this film, but it is a story of human exploitation in many different ways. Deep Throat made a fortune, nobody knows quite how much, but Lovelace claims she never saw any money, and that her husband received only $1,250 for the endeavor.